Well, good Friday morning to you. I pray that you've had a good week, and uh, man, we've had some beautiful weather. I pray that you've been able to get outside and enjoy yourselves. And uh, once again, this is Preacher Scott coming to you on a Friday morning from the outdoors just to give you a little encouragement. Uh, God has faithfully provided a wonderful place for us to behold the beauty of nature this morning and his faithfulness unto us, and also to take some time to read of his word. If you tuned in with us on Wednesday night, uh, you will remember that we were talking about uh, the uh, 15 Psalms of Ascent when the Israelite people were ascending into Jerusalem and they did this uh, once a year to celebrate the, the feast, uh, the, fe the festivals, um, the festival of, of unleavened bread, the uh, festival of harvest and the festival of shelters. And if you remember they had those steps that they climbed up to get up to the temple and we talked about our own bodies being a temple unto god and how we want to take care of them we want to be mindful of what we put into our bodies and uh, god will bless us if we do that well i want to uh turn back to those and and begin in psalms 127 i think we looked at six of them on wednesday night but i just want to touch some high points and the first verse of psalm 127 says unless the lord builds a house the work of the builders is wasted unless the lord protects a city guarding it with centuries will do no good it is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night anxiously working for food to eat for god gives rest to his loved ones and then it goes on to talk about a children being a blessing of god and and uh, making mention that uh, blessed are those or joyful is the man whose quiver is full of children and I, I, I hope that you uh, you believe that that you put trust in that and you know many of you guys out there you don't have children over your own but boy you are a blessing to other children around you but when God talks about right here in, in Psalm 127 about building the house he's not only talking about the structures he's talking about the flesh and bone house of ourselves unless God builds us up unless God is magnified in our lives then all these other things that we do are, are somewhat useless. Um, in Psalm 128, verse 1, we'll just touch on it. It says, How joyful are those who fear the Lord, all who follow His ways. You know, in the society that we live in today and how things are moving and shaking all the time, sometimes I think the fear of the Lord is something that we have forgotten. And although He provides for all of our needs, we still must fear Him we still must want to be reverent unto him and follow his precepts. And finally, I want to finish in Psalms 130, and I want to read this whole psalm. It says, From the depths, depths of despair, only eight verses, O Lord, I call for your help. Hear my cry, O Lord, pay attention to my prayer. As the psalmist says, Lord, if you keep the record of our sins, who, O Lord, could ever survive? But you offer forgiveness that we might learn to fear you. I am counting on the Lord. Yes, I am counting on him. I have put my hope in his word. I long for the Lord more than centuries long for the dawn. Yes, more than centuries long for the dawn. I, O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is unfailing love. His redemption overflows, and he himself will redeem Israel from every kind of sin. I don't know if you heard that or not. It's two wood ducks just flew over, kind of whimpering there a little bit. But I'm so thankful that the Lord doesn't keep track of all of our sins. You and I sin each and every day, but that should not bind us. That should not keep us from serving Him. That should not make us so fearful that we can't serve Him. Once we go to Him and ask Him for forgiveness, then He has push those sins as far as the east is from the west in that verse 3 it says lord if you kept a record of our sins who O lord could ever survive thank goodness he is a faithful loving and a forgiving god well hey i thank you so much for joining in with us on this friday morning i just got a couple more verses i'll leave you with it says oh praise the lord all you servants of the lord you who serve at night and in the house of the Lord, lift your hands towards the sanctuary and praise the Lord. May the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you 
from Jerusalem. Well, may he, maybe he will bless you not only from Jerusalem, but right where you are today. And I want to remind you again that we will be back live and in person in God's house this Sunday at New Home. So come out and join us if you will. Hey, I'm going to close in a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the beauty of it. We thank you for the beauty of your creation all around us. The river that I see in the background here, the wonderful trees, the birds that we hear singing, the wood ducks flying over. Lord, we just know without a doubt that you are the creator, the sustainer of all things. We're so thankful that you are a loving and faithful God. Lord, we ask for forgiveness of where we come short of your glory each day for the sins that we commit some unknowingly, but very many of them willingly we commit them. We know that they're wrong, Lord. I just ask that you would prick our hearts. Be patient with us as we lift our hearts towards you, Lord. Cleanse us and help us be the men and women of Christ that you would have us to be each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Hope you have a great day. Just know that Lisa and I love you. Look forward to seeing you in the church house on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Take care.